We are honored to have him come and visit the Valparaiso Club. If you would all please join me in welcoming President of Kiwanis International, Don Kennedy. I want to thank those of you that have been part of my uh, life, my Kiwanis life, and have supported me and allowed me to serve as the governor of Indiana and then allowed me to serve at the international level. It's been a great honor. On April the 12th, 1921, a group of concerned citizens from the town of Valparaiso came together because they believed that there were needs in that community, especially for the children of that community, that were not being met. And these men, at that time it was all men, came together and formed the Kiwanis Club of Valparaiso. And for more than 88 years, they've been touching lives in a positive manner. 88 years, a history, a legacy of service to the citizens and especially the children of this community, making a difference in the lives of children. That's what Kiwanis is all about. I visited a place in North Carolina called the North Carolina Home for Boys and Girls, and they bring in children who've been thrown away, children off the streets. All of them have been abused. They told me that uh, almost 100% of the girls had been sexually abused. The children that are brought there, they told me, were uh, on an average four years behind their contemporary in school. And they would put one teacher with one student, and they would stay that way until that child had caught up with their contemporaries. And then they would be put in public school. Every child there was guaranteed a four-year fully paid university scholarship. I met the, the, the president who run the place, had a master's degree, was a very impressive man, had a very impressive resume. He was a graduate of that home. I met the chairman of the board who was a CEO of a large power company. He was a graduate of that home. I met the vice chairman. He was a retired superintendent of schools. He was a graduate of those homes. Kiwanians touching lives in a positive manner. Several years ago, Kiwanis International had its first worldwide service project. It was called Iodine Deficiency Disorders, and that's the world's leading cause of preventable mental retardation in children. If a mother is carrying a fetus and she doesn't have iodine in her diet, there's a good chance that child is going to be born irreversibly mentally retarded. There are other uh, results from not having iodine in your diet, but that's the biggest one. But this club, when this was announced, stepped forward. And because they care about the children, not just in this community, but the children of the world, your club donated enough money that you put a safety net under 676,460 children. You gave more than 676,000 children an opportunity to live a normal, happy, productive life. You put the smiles on the faces of more than 676,000 children. Now, you're never going to see those smiles but they're out there, and they belong to the Kiwanis Club of Valparaiso. Those children can't be here to say thank you, so on behalf of those children, let me say thank you. Thank you for having a Kiwanis heart. Thank you for caring. Why did the Kiwanis Club of Valpo do this? Because they care, and they care especially about children. I want to present to your club uh, one of my banners. I've had very few opportunities to speak to clubs. I've spoke to districts and divisions, uh, but very, and traveling a lot and putting on training sessions, but I have had little opportunity to speak to clubs. But I want to present one of my banners to your club to show you that the president of Kiwanis International came and spoke to your club.
And I also want to present one to the city of, Indiana, of uh, Valparaiso <laughs> and <clears throat> to my Rotarian friend who's wearing a Kiwanis heart. <laughs> It's a great honor for me to be here today. And again, let me say in closing, thank you for having a Kiwanis heart. Well, as, as, uh, as, as a mayor, you get to see your city from a lot of different angles. And uh, one thing that I have been struck with is, is how vital service clubs are to cities. Um, and, uh, and particularly our area, we have some of the most vibrant, well-attended, uh, and, uh, and just uh, active service clubs anywhere in the country. And I can tell you right now, it makes a profound difference in our community. I want to thank each and every one of you for being involved and for rolling up your sleeves and getting things done. And I was reflecting on today why service clubs make a difference in the community. Well, there's, there's a lot of reasons. First of all, the obvious reason is that you meet needs. Uh, a lot of those needs have been expressed here today, but you do it on an ongoing basis, meeting needs throughout our community in various ways, uh, and that's, that's a great thing. But it's also a vehicle for uh, enabling leadership. You help bring in young people, develop leadership, and you share with them how important it is to be involved in the community and to provide leadership at this level. So uh, that's another positive. And finally, I think it creates a unity in a community. When people get together, they're meeting, they're discussing issues, they're uh, working together to solve problems. It creates a spirit of unity that I think is very strong.